Boruto episode 92 review. Alright guys, this episode was pretty much the ending of the Mitsuki retrieval arc and we all expected what was going to happen in this episode. It got a very emotional force. We do understand that Anoki actually died. It was confirmed they were at his funeral and everything like that. Boruto almost got punished a little bit, but of course Naruto can't really punish Boruto and Team 7 for pretty much saving the Hidden Stone Village, but we're not going to get totally wrapped up in that as of right now. I do want to talk about the most important stuff that did happen in the last episode of Boruto. Now, one of the most important parts was the conversation between Orochimaru and Log. And of course, we are getting hints of the Kata organization. Now, they did kind of spoil a video that I did want to make, and it was pretty much a video about me asking you guys where the Kata organization got all of this technology from. Now, of course, we do understand that later on or earlier on in the anime of Boruto, we did see Kash and Koji go to the main scientist behind the scientific technology, which is Katsuki, and he basically stole something. I have no idea, but he put him under a genjutsu, and I'm pretty sure he stole a lot of the scientific ninjutsu or the scientific technologies from him. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that they have abilities to create synthetic human beings. Scientific technology and synthetic human beings are two totally different things. Now, I do want you guys to pick up what I'm throwing down, mainly because I'm not going to get too long to pretty much explain this whole theory, mainly because I'm to make a full video on it and it does require a full video for a lot of you guys to pretty much comprehend or understand what i'm saying because i do tend to go on a lot of tangents that some of you guys don't understand but for the kata organization what they pretty much specify and or what they pretty much do is they take a regular human being i'm pretty sure you guys remember kawaki they took him as a regular human being and then they genetically modified him into becoming what he is now which is every fiber of his being like every single cell in his body is definitely genetically altered to be a scientific technology now to do that you one have to get the ability or get the technology of the scientific technology and you'd also have to understand how to genetically modify something now the genetic modification comes from the synthetic human beings now i believe that they pretty much got that data from the hidden stone village and they pretty much got the scientific technology from katsuki now there is one huge red flag in this theory so i'm not telling you guys this isn't like an end all be all theory of mine but to point out the huge red flag the kata organization presumably had this technology for a very long time i'm pretty sure you guys remember when they first took kawaki he was a little kid and if they just now obtained this knowledge that would mean they would have to genetically alter kawaki in a matter of literally month and for kawaki to go from this regular boy to like a freak of nature with all these hidden scientific technologies all over his body would be pretty impressive but damn near impossible and, and it's not only kawaki it's also delta as well and presumably a lot more other kata organization members now some of you guys might be a little bit skeptical and i do understand that mainly because boruto anime hasn't done necessarily a lot to further the overall plot but i feel like this is something that we should be looking forward to as something that actually does further the plot now at first it did say that the body was pretty much going without a trace they didn't know exactly what happened to it. and I'm pretty sure the hidden stone village shinobi were pretty much looking at the crime scene and trying to figure out whose body is this or whose body was this now the only people that I could think of that would pretty much collect his body would be the Kata organization mainly because they need to make huge strides from right now into the manga in terms of technology another thing that was confirmed during that conversation with Orochimaru and Log was basically the fact that Orochimaru didn't have any hand in what Mithu was doing I think a lot of people kind of thought that Orochimaru is going to be a little bit suspicious or a lot suspicious in terms of the disappearance of Mitsuki. And I do understand this is like 20 episodes before this time right here. But about 20, 25 episodes ago, a lot of people were suspicious about Orochimaru. But in this episode, Orochimaru basically said he had no idea what Mitsuki was doing. He even said it's not necessarily a rebellion. It's pretty much puberty. Mitsuki is going through his preteen emotions right now. So because of that, Orochimaru didn't necessarily look at it as a rebellion against him or the Hidden Leaf village and we do understand that it wasn't necessarily a rebellion in Malum because Mitsuki is staying inside the Hidden Leaf village and we can't expect for Mitsuki to eventually go back to Orochimaru and see exactly what Orochimaru is doing. Now what I'm hoping to see is I'm hoping to see something about the Kata organization in the upcoming episodes of Boruto. We do understand that the next episodes of Boruto, presumably the next three to four episodes, are going to be surrounded around the Naruto Shinden novels. Now the Naruto Shinden novels don't necessarily have any extreme action in it they're pretty much going to be a little bit slice of life type of things but after that of course as i said it's going to be three to four episodes not too crazy so after those episodes we should be going into another arc now i am hoping that that next arc is going to have something to do with either urushigi 
or either the COD or organization. But I do have to say, I won't be surprised if it has nothing to do with any of those, mainly because the Boruto anime right now, it's a little bit lackluster in terms of the overall plot of the Boruto. But talking about the rest of episode 92 was a very good episode. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys did enjoy it, especially the people that do like the emotional side of Boruto. You could pretty much tell right before the episode started, you could pretty much tell that the riders were rubbing their hands like Birdman, just thinking about how they can make this episode as emotional as possible. And of course they did not disappoint. We got to see Boruto cry a bit right after he found a special stone. You guys can correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's like one of the first times that we did actually see Boruto cry. Or I think we did see Boruto cry during the training exam when he did get caught. Make sure you guys fact check me about that in the comment section below. Now, one more thing I do want to talk about before I do end the video is I made a video before, and of course I was talking about Konohamaru, about how Konohamaru was pretty much useless in the last episode of Boruto, or two episodes ago in Boruto. Now, some of you guys took that as me saying that Konohamaru didn't do anything in the whole arc. Now, I do understand that Konohamaru did do a lot. He pretty much started the rebellion against the coup, but you guys cannot deny in the last episode, Konohamaru pretty much did nothing. Like, let's be honest, Boruto, Sarada, and Mitsuki were looking death right in the face. If Anoki didn't jump in, it would have been curtains for all of them. Konohamaru did nothing. Like, he didn't do nothing. If it wasn't for Anoki, Konohamaru would have literally watched his teammates, Sarada, Boruto, and Mitsuki, get evaporated. But to end it off, this episode was definitely an emotional one. It wasn't necessarily the most impactful one in terms of the overall plot. Of course, the action was pretty much the minimal in this episode. And of course, I do understand that some of you guys don't necessarily like these types of episodes. But hey, in the next couple of episodes, we're going to have to stick through this and pretty much wait until we get to see what the next big arc is going to be about. Now, of course, there's going to be some spoilers that are going to leak in the next couple of days. I will get those to you as soon as possible. Hopefully, we do get some stuff or get some information about the next arc and of course it's been your boy Barbie and we out it's a knife Check my clock I can't stop fuck around make my 40 pop no pop con I pop pistols beaming my body clothing no issue bitch you look sick you need a tissue you drop a body I did my blessing I'm at your sexual no high cholesterol where's any Craig bitch let's get sexual